What's going on guys, it's your player partner team Kobe Gaming. We're back at it again with another video. And today we're not in no RP county, or we're not in no county really. But today I'm just going to be showing you guys exactly how to install a car into a 5M server and how to First pack all, multiple cars. There is a program so you need called this, Icecon. This is, um, this, is not a man, this is not something you need, but if you have a Zap hosting server, you can manage your whole server with this and you don't have to restart your server. I'm showing you guys this for a Zap hosting server. But the car packing will be... Try, how can I say, uh, it works for anything really, so it's pretty simple. So first of all, if you have a Zap hosting server, I'm not too sure if this works for every other server, but I know for a Zap hosting server, Icecon works fine to start cars. So first of all, Icecon, download it, Zap will recommend it. Second program I would recommend is Notepad++. So Notepad++ is another straightforward program. All you do is click here, then click on download, pick which one you have. Probably you probably knew is one 7.8 then 64 a bit that's pretty transverse to you guys too and that is pretty much it you need to pack a car i will leave links to all these websites in the description of the video so don't even worry team kobe gaming got you tkg gang has you for the win next thing you would want to do go to your desktop now assume you have your cars downloaded so first you want to do, think of the name for your pack think of it as uh, i'm gonna call it tkg test so tkg test is what we're calling this now, I know I botched the name, but we could fix it, so don't worry. So, first of all, what you would need inside this folder is a stream folder. So, just click New, Folder, and click Stream. Y'all, this is so simple. Do not over-procrastinate this. Do not make it too confusing. Then it has to be. So, first of all, let's find some cars. I have plenty of cars, so let's just go to my Downloads folder. Now, this will, now please remember, y'all, this is all depending on, on your car. What car you have? We'll do Kobe High. Yes, replace the files because it's already on my desktop. So we'll replace the files. Next thing you want is Kobe Cat. We're going to do three cars. But you can make a pack however big you want. Just note, the bigger the pack, longer it, the resource will take to download. So when people are loading in your server, it will take a lot longer. Just a key tip. And we'll do C-Frame. Trucks, I know that work. Test and everything. So we'll do exit. All right, perfect. So first of all, now you got your stream folder. Let's take out the simple things first. What you would need inside this folder is cframe.yft. Drag in all those files. These are all your vehicle files. You have a YFT and a YTD. You should have two YFTs, a high and a lower. So drag all those in and one YTD. Pretty simple. Drag in these for the second car and then the third car. Pretty simple, y'all. This is the simplest part of it. Okay. Now, you're going to drag in all those. Now you're done. You need to have files called, let's see, you could go here. Most, if you see all these vehicles are purchased from builders, so most of the time when you purchase from a builder, they will send a 5M ready, or you could say single player ready, but what they'll do is they'll send you a resource.lua file. We'll open this up in Notepad++ for you guys to see it. Okay, resource manifest. This just loads, tells the server what to load. So you want this, no matter every pack you make, you need that in there. Now, if you load up your server and it says cannot load a resource, it's not because the mod is broken. It is because you're missing this file. More times than not, it's because you're missing that file. So always make sure your resource.lua file is in there. Next thing you want to do is take whatever car you want to start with. Drag all the car variations and vehicles handling files straight in. Now, if it's not a PD car, you do not need a car close. Remember that. You do not have to combine car close. So first, let's start with the easiest, your car variations. Okay. You want to right-click on car variations. Come all the way down to where it says item at the bottom. You click enter. Now it says enter, so now you want to go into your Kobe Cat. You want to click on car variations. Let this open in Notepad, not Notepad++, regular Notepad. So now you want to just highlight everything from item to item. Do not go to variation data, stop at item. Now you want to click Control C or click copy, whatever your preference is. Oh Lord, we click cut, but that is easy. All you have to do, we don't save it. Exit out, don't save it, don't panic. Come back in and click item to item. Very simple, guys. Very simple. Do not over procrastinate this, y'all. It's very simple. Now you click Control V, saved. So you want to click S on that, save it. Now you click delete. Well, not delete, just exit. Don't delete. Don't delete. Do not delete. <laughs> now you want to click item from item again in this. Now, here's a quick tip for y'all. Kobe Cat, but the guy who sent me this sent me a combined handling made already. See, it has a whole nother car in it, RAM SS. So we don't want the RAM 99 SS because it's just going to take up space in the file that we don't need. So just copy item to item again 
And now we'll go back into here, go to your handling menu, edit with Notepad++. Now, you want to click, whoa, we messed up. So you see we accidentally clicked the wrong button. So all you want to do is click undo. Now you want to go back, click enter again, and paste. Now you want to click control S, and you're done. Okay, now here is the tricky part, your vehicles.meta file. Now your vehicles.meta file, I will show you some secrets about this. Now, your vehicles.meta file, you're starting a 5M server. So this is for everybody who brought this app hosting server and ready to start their own 5M server. Or anybody who's making a pack for a Demon Outlaw server I play on. So I know a lot of y'all probably watching this video. You want to go all the way back to the bottom and you want to click enter right here. Do not go where it says TXD relationships just yet. So you want to click enter right underneath the first line, right between that. So now you want to click paste. Now here's the thing. You want your truck, if it has a tow hook, you want your tow. You see where it says trailers S hauler. Now, every time you want to add another trailer, you want to click this. Control C, enter, space. Now, whatever the spawn code is for that trailer, add it right here. So, for example, I want to tow the co trailer. Co trailer thing everybody uses. Now, I also want to tow the T hauler. I'll click enter, V, and I'll put T hauler next. Take the S off and put T hauler. So, now it will tow the T hauler. Very simple, guys. Simple as can be. It doesn't get much simpler than that, am I right? So now that Kobe Cat is completely done. No errors are found, you're done. But we don't know if no errors are found yet, but I'll show you a way to check your errors at the end of this video. So stick around for that. Let's go and copy the same process for Kobe for C-Frame. That's what we need to go do next. So C-Frame, we'll go to card variations, copy it all the way down from item to item, control C. And you see, once you get the hang of this, you guys, You'll see how fast I'll fly through this. Control V, Control S. And this is just me going as fast as I can possibly go. Handling made of item. Now, if I'm building a server, packing a bunch of cards at one time, what I'll do is I'll leave Notepad++ open. Enter, save. Control S, exit out of this. Go back to C-Frame, copy the vehicle's meta. And I'll just bloop. And we'll go all the way up till we see C-Frame. Make sure there's no oil cars in it. Yep, all right, so this is the vehicle mess, so it is a big one. So you want to click copy on that, go to vehicles metal. Scroll all the way down to where it says item again. Click enter, bet. Now this actually has TXD relations, so we'll do copy, control C. Every car does not have TXD relations, please remember that. Then click control V, make sure everything is in the line. Then you click control S and you're done. We just packed three cars in what? Two minutes. Thank the time. I have to put a timer at the bottom of this video. Now, here's the catcher. You want to go here to Internet Explorer or whatever browser you choose. And I'll leave the link to this website. XML Validation. This XML Validation website will actually show you guys if you did this wrong. So just click on it. Click on open your file. Click Control C. And click Control V. Click Enter. Now you want to come down to where it says Validate. No errors were found. The following files are uploaded so far. So this actually backs it up for y'all. So that's one simple thing. So we know your car variations is good. What about my vehicles back? This is what a lot of people mess up on. So we want to click Control C. Bet. And now that we saw our car variations is done, you rarely find errors anywhere else, especially in handling mail. People that mess up on handling mail was just rushing too much. And it's easy fix though. So now you want to click Control V. Enter. Don't have to really click enter, but validate. Ba bam and it's done. Now, what how what will it do if it tells me I mess up? Watch this. We'll go to vehicles meta and I'll just do something simple like take that off. And then control A, control C. So I just I'm, I literally gave myself this error. So I'm just showing you guys for future reference. It says line 393, the end tag must be with an identifier. So oh accidentally went back. So let me redo it so it shows it to y'all again. Hold up. Alright, bet. All right, line 393, the end tag needs an end. So we know exactly what to do now. So we want to go to Notepad++, line 393, we'll come down here, we'll look for the error. It'll go one line under, so it'll tell you exactly what's wrong. So you can just come down 393, and you see right here, you see right there you need the thing. So to close off the gap, all you want to do is put the little symbol right there, shift, bam. And it's done. Click Control A, Control C, and we just fix the issue. So, most of the time you'll find the issue. So, now, what other little problems you might run into, I'll show you guys once we get back into the file. Let me just validate this, make sure it is correct. Perfect. All right, so look, what some people might do sometimes. 
you might click space too many times like right here now you see this will not work I'll tell you right now it would not work because you see these little lines right here these dot dot dots those are little symbols that tell you where so it won't work because now you have this big old gap and it's reading so many items the code won't work so back it out back it out back it out to where you have these little asterisks so just make sure everything is grouped this line tells you what is grouped so make sure it stays grouped you don't want your stuff all mixed up so you're good pretty simple and you could probably back that up to just even with that just like that yeah so there we go so everything is grouped double checking one more time with xml validation and look y'all i promise y'all xml validation will be your best friend if you're packing a bunch of cars if you're doing like 100 cars xml validation for the win do it you already know team kobe gaming all right bet now let's show you guys how it throws into my server so we'll exit out of this let me click control this all right bet so we want to double check the file make sure it's called tkg test make sure everything is in here oh my god we got so much stuff okay bet all right so we don't need this resource that you is filing in there everything is in there i'm pretty sure it'll work we want to rename it to something else but you see i named it tkg test so tkg test now the server.config cannot read anything with space so you want to put tkg underscore test there you go click save or click enter now you're done so now you want to go into filezilla now you want to go once you get into filezilla you probably have your server it will look pretty much similar to this you want to click on gta 5m server data resource.lua now you want to just drag that well not resource.lua but resources now you want to just drag this into there one two three uh i like to just wait for the scroll bomb so it don't accidentally combine and then copy it in and you're done now i'll show y'all some tips you see how right here it says cars you could subfold everything if you want to stay more organized i don't really care about organization that much but if you do you could just do asterisks right there and put cars and you're good but now you're looking at me like okay kobe i want to start this so what should i do okay now you could go by there's plenty of ways you could go back Copy the server that CFG to you thing, open it up like this. Now you could go in the zap. You could go right here. You start. It's like this. You could go start. Well, not right here. Don't want to go right there. Don't go right there. Go to the bottom. You see how it says ESX. This is all stuff you want to start first. So come to the end. End of ESX pack. You can start right about. Hold up. Let's see. Because we actually have this organized maps. Cars. Okay. So right at the start of cars, you want to click start. We'll click enter then you want to click start and what card do you want to start the test and let me go double check the name because i don't really remember so give me one minute what is it again colby uh tkg test okay so do tkg and then underscore test and now you want to click control s now you're done pretty much done you can go to zap and restart your 